It seems like it shouldn't take much to make dinosaurs cool, especially considering the latest movie loosely based on them is breaking all sorts of records right now. And yet when you look at dinos in the news, you get headlines describing Hellboy dinosaurs, Jar Jar Binks dinosaurs, and even a chicken from hell. Those descriptions often have a tenuous connection with reality, as evidenced by that Jar Jar Binks dinosaur, Dinochirus, which basically looked nothing like Jar Jar Binks. <laughs> And that makes it seem like someone is trying to make dinosaurs, which again, are already cool, even more eye-catching. But who? While Jar Jar appears to be a press invention, other monikers, like the chicken from hell, come straight from the scientists themselves, who gave it that nickname as a joke. Same goes for the Hellboy dinosaur, the platypus dinosaur, and the Thunder Thighs dinosaur, who actually got the nickname worked into its scientific name. Seeing how easily these nicknames translate into headlines, the notion that giving your dinosaur an outlandish descriptor could help get it noticed doesn't seem like a stretch, given how hundreds of new dinosaurs are discovered every year. But little nicknames don't compare to some of the sensationalizing that went on during paleontology's early modern history. The race to collect and discover new fossils in the U.S. during the 19th century was such that science took a backseat to self-aggrandizing, with high-profile figures like Edward Cope and Othniel Marsh resorting to theft and bribery to try to outdo one another. In that context, a couple outlandish nicknames don't seem so bad, especially when one objective of paleontologists and scientists in general is to draw more people to the sciences. As paleontologist Steve Brusati explains, Jurassic Park, the original one, kind of played that role too. It inspired a huge number of people to study dinosaurs, and it led many museums and universities to hire dinosaur experts and catalyzed a burst of funding for paleontological research. So, even if the chicken from hell doesn't look that much like a chicken, if the name gets people looking, period, that might be enough. For Newsy, I'm Sebastian Martinez.